Casey, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. So ZX4 is another part of the ZX family with ZX5, ZX7. And I think when most people think about Strixon irons, they don't necessarily think about hollow body. So this seems like something that's fairly new to the company. So where does ZX4 fit in the spectrum for players that are part of the Strixon family already and for people who might be thinking about becoming new parts of the Strixon family? Definitely. I think ZX4 is a really exciting offering and something we haven't seen before from our brand, it, unless you count the ZU85 and ZU65 utilities, which is really what this iron was kind of based around and inspired by. We saw a lot of popular in those designs and went the new ZX utility with a better player type design. So this kind of fits the niche for the people who use those utilities in the past. Um, it's certainly a game improvement focused design. Um, hollow set with a forge face and tungsten in the sole that'll still feature this incredible forge feel we're used to for the Strixon brand, but forgiveness benefits that you've never seen before in our line. Um, so players who may have been a little afraid to play the Strixon brand, maybe liked the look of the designs, but were worried it was too better player for them. Uh, this is the iron set they've been waiting for and um, should really try it out and see if it's the one. I'm a ZU65 guy. I will play that club until the face falls apart. It, it's wonderful. Yeah. It's um, so where does the ZX4 kind of compare maybe blade length wise, uh, footprint size to maybe ZX5? For sure. Um, the overall footprint will be similar. The blade length is about a millimeter longer than ZX5. Um, the thing you will notice is, especially in the long irons, you're going to see a little bit more meat at a dress. Top line is a tiny bit thicker, but will still combo well with the other irons in our line, ZX5, even ZX7. Um, so it's still a better player-like profile, but you'll definitely see some game improved features with a little bit more mass behind the uh, center of the club face and uh, a little bit more of a meteor profile, but still not something that'll turn off most players. Because definitely something to focus on our designs for all six on irons is that it's got to be a PMN address, right? It's a very uh, important focus of this brand in general. So for, you guys made the decision to go all hollow through the entire set. Everyone kind of makes different choices about that. Some try to have kind of more traditional 9-8 iron pitching wedge, perhaps, and some don't. What, what went into that decision, and why did you decide to go all hollow all the way? For sure. I think it was the forgiveness benefits that we saw with the hollow design. When you're saving that much mass in the center of the club, even in a pitching wedge or all those um, high lofted wedges as well, um, the benefits of having the amount of material you can move to the sole um, to increase MOI, to increase heel-toe CG um, location, and to also increase um, the low CG location that we're trying to aim for um, is a benefit for forgiveness of all of those clubs, as well as just creating the ideal spin games we want in uh, every single option in the entire set. So I think it's really the benefits through the full line. We didn't see a reason to switch away from the hollow design that works so well in the long irons in the short irons, um, when a benefit in a pitching wedge of forgiveness is still, for this player type especially, um, nothing to scoff at. Do you think ultimately there'll be some people who choose to maybe go semi-combo? Maybe they'll go ZX4 in some and ZX5 or even ZX7 in, in some of the others? For sure. I think a lot of it is what you're looking for distance-wise um, or even spin-wise. Um, you can get a lower in in the long irons of the X4s and they're a little bit stronger lofted. So um, I think it's it's a little tougher to figure out which combination you might want with the ZX4 versus the other lines. I think ZX5 and ZX7 are maybe more of a natural combo for some, but um, I think there's definitely some people, especially with ZX4 and ZX5, um, that'll find a combo that works best for them. So we're definitely offering combo sets in this iron. Can you dig into mainframe technology a little bit for us? This is for, for folks who have maybe not seen the, the news about the iron set already, but, but you know, the forge face insert has uh, essentially grooves and channels and cavities behind it, and that's kind of designed to help the face perform better. And you guys talk about in the release that you guys used AI as the kind of the big buzzword in, in golf design these days yeah. it, to the eye shape. And, and I, I find that really fascinating, but I also find fascinating the inputs that go into it. So what were the inputs that you were looking for at Strixon to then tell AI, you know, a computer to kind of, all right, get us to this answer? Yeah, it's definitely a really big combination between our engineers and the official intelligence system we run. Essentially what the engineers do is they take an, an original um, 
parameters for design and then run simulations. Um, and they look at these simulations come and um, take this into account like manufacturing tolerances and sound design and a whole bunch of other things that go into club design that AI simulations a lot of times miss out on when they do these runs. So they'll see what the design looks like, say, oh no, it didn't work for these reasons, and then set the AI in a new direction um, with some added parameters and keep running iterations like this with thousands of AI designs until we finally come up to the best combination of both ball speed, but also a sound and feel that you're going to be looking for and a manufacturing um, combination of a face that's not going to explode after five impacts. I mean, we can make the highest ball speed face in the world if we want, but you're not going to be able to play an entire round with it. So um, there's a lot of uh, combination between what we know as golf manufacturers needs to be in a face and what the AI system can say, hey, this is the best ball speed possible. So it's a it's a team between uh, engineers and computers. Um, we when it comes were to really the, happy with what we came up with. When it comes to the inputs, when you guys are kind of telling the the design, the, the rapid prototyping, are, are are you informing it on what you ultimately want, let's say blade length and kind of overall profile to look like, and then fit this in terms of performance? Or does it go back the other way and says, well, maybe you should lengthen it by a millimeter or, or you know, something like that? Um, the blade length and a lot of that stuff comes more, I, I'm in the marketing side of things. So a, a lot of us, um, I do a whole bunch of research with different players and, and some preferences on this player type and um, what can stomach at address. Um, so I think a lot of the parameters are actually from the marketing side of things, like hey, this is what we want the club to look like and be appealing and um, sort of overall, let's get the best performance out of a profile that'll be acceptable to a vast majority of players. Um, so we used to set those parameters even for the engineers, the engineers will set the parameters for the uh, AI, and then we end up with this final club that hopefully checks all the boxes, both from an performance and an appearance standpoint um, in the kind of club we'd be looking for this prototype and um, make the best sort of game improvement, premium game improvement club we could possibly come up with. Well, for golfers who maybe are new to the idea of playing a hollow body iron, maybe they've thought about getting one, maybe they've thought of, I, you know, tried some out, but for whatever yeah. reason, they felt, have felt uncomfortable moving from what they know to a hollow body iron. What should they expect in terms of just different feel but also maybe increased distance from it being a hollow body iron that they should feel comfortable knowing is going to happen as part of that transition. Yeah, I think the most recent perception with a hollow body iron, and you probably heard this from the clubs that are people worried about going to one, is the overall feel of the club. There's a lot of a clicky tendency that people talk about. Um, we've really designed this forged uh, face to sort of remove that clickiness. Um, I think these are one of the best hollow body irons in the market for feel on its own. Um, you're going to get the forgiveness benefits and that, that sort of come with the territory hollow body iron. Um, and that's really what we've designed the overall body to do is be as forgiving as possible for this player. So if you're looking for more forgiveness, hollow body category is in general for you. But we really wanted to stand out in the sort of Strixon brand as a whole for forgiveness. And in the hollow body realm, um, this is a club that's really going to be one of the better offerings for there. Uh, that's something we really focused on with this design as well. So I think anybody worried about a feel or moving away from something with a cavity uh, to a hollow body iron being clickier, I think this is something that'll calm those, uh, those worries more than other options. And then it, kind of every part of a, a hollow body experience is, well, what goes on the inside of it, right? So tongue is a piece of this story, obviously, trying to be more forgiving, as you mentioned. Uh, is, is there anything that we're missing that goes inside to a hollow body iron that maybe the average person doesn't think about uh, when the, they're evaluating whether to, to purchase a set? Yeah, I think the, the tongue is a big one of these, which we have in the fourth through seven iron, uh, which adds even more forgiveness than um, a standard hollow body would be with a one-piece steel construction. Um, so that moves the CG lower, even more towards the toe. So a lot of these game improvement players are missing loan on the toe um, quite often. So the strikes will see a lot more consistent performance um, with this club than you would with other options. Um, we've also designed, um, this goes along with our whole body in a sense, um, the groove design, where we have different grooves on our long irons versus our short irons. Um, Actually, with the thinner hollow body 
design. We um, went with a thinner groove of long irons to maximize that ball speed and um, other factors of the design. And then the short irons, we can actually go deeper on the groove because we're not quite as concerned about maximizing ball speed. That's another reason our loft caps and the long irons are a little smaller than they are in the short irons is because that face can actually get a little thicker um, and maximize spin the short irons. And we really think through these design features uh, when thinking, okay, this is a seven iron. How do we want a seven iron to perform, for instance, versus a pitching wedge versus a you know four iron? So each iron with this hollow body design is really designed its own unique way. And that's something you can't really see as much in, um, say, a blade or something where, you know, your face profiles are more similar across the board. So it sounds like ultimately, if, if you're thinking about getting into a hollow body iron, you're going to be able to benefit from something that's going to be able to kill a little bit of spin with the longer irons and go a little bit farther. You're still going to get sure. solid spin out of the scoring clubs, you know, a little extra pop compared to a, a single piece body. So definitely, is this ultimately, is, is the tent for this iron, who is the tent for this iron from where to where, maybe the, the handicap yeah. spectrum? What's the tent? For, for sure. I the tent is probably, um, it's generally your game improvement golfer. The guy who might have been scary to go streaks on in the past, um, maybe wants a little more forgiveness. that's been offered in our five series, um, wants a little bit more distance in their irons, and isn't afraid to look down at something that's a little bit more bulk. Um, it's still going to be an appealing profile, but his long irons definitely um, are not quite as better player looking as some of our other offerings. Um, so I think it's, it's the forgiveness benefits. Um, you're not going to be so worried about workability um, as some of the other irons. I mean, you can piece things a little bit, but you're not going to quite get the same benefits you would in, say, a seven series where you can really curve one way or another as you like. But uh, anybody who really benefits from more distance and more forgiveness just wants an easier to hit premium club with great feel. Um, I think that's who the ZX4 is designed for. Casey, thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us, walking us through the ZX4s and all the features around it. We really appreciate it, and hopefully we'll be able to get our hands on them soon enough and uh, try them out for ourselves. Excellent. Thanks for having me.